Neolithic era is the final stage of the Stone Age, and it also began when the first development of farming appeared in parts of the world such as Northern Europe, all the way to China and other small parts as well. The Neolithic era is when humans' behavior and cultural characteristic changes the most, with the usage of wild and domestic crops and domesticated animals. Essentially, they evolved from hunter-gatherers to farmers. The Neolithic transition started around 10,000 BC. The cause of this transition is that they started to realize that they need to settle down in an environment and can always hunt for food. They started to learn how to farm, make and control fire, and tame their own animals. Once the civilization learned how to grow crops, they noticed how helpful farming was and how growing their own was far more easy and accessible to pick their own grains. Same as the tamed animals, they'd use their animals for livestock or for farming their eggs and milk to make bread. The lifestyle of a Neolithic person was simple. They all worked and developed agriculture and livestock. All people that lived in that era had two different types of jobs. You were either a farmer or a tradesman. If you were trading, you'd most likely trade weapons, tools, pottery, sculptures, and jewelry. Since they settled down in one place, mud and housing was made. And since the climate was changing and building, tombs was one of them. Inside these tombs were decomposing bodies for burials and had causeways for ceremonies for these people. Hunter-gatherers have to make the choice between the risk of dying and moving or settling down. They attempt to survive and thrive on agriculture. Around 11,000 BCE, hunter-gatherer groups settle in certain areas because of climate change and lack of resources. Those led to the development of maximizing resource production. Not all hunter-gatherers settled down at the same time. Some groups lack agriculture skills and became traders both locally and over long distances. Some even avoid the transition to settle life by moving into other less hospitable environments to continue on their lifestyle. Since early humans could not accumulate goods over time, there are no status differences created by disparities in wealth. After hunter-gatherers settled down for the first time, it became possible for individuals and communities to accumulate and store wealth on a large scale. Due to the existence of civilization, hunter-gatherer groups were restrained to settle down to become a part of the structured civilization. Lasco is famous for its cave paintings that created between 10,000 to 15,000 BCE. It was discovered on September 12, 1940, located in Basel Valley, where many other decorated caves have been found since the beginning of the 20th century. In this painting, they show the extinct long-horned cattle known as the Rock. There are more such as oxen and horses. One purpose of this painting for early human may have been to bring about successful hunting in real life. Whether it be the advancement of human brain or the Earth's climate change that led the Neolithic people to make the vast transition from hunter-gatherers to farming and creating a civilization, we can all agree that it was a time of change and advancement that forever impacted the way we live today. Some notable outcomes of the Neolithic era include Stoner mud housing, which created more protection from weather and other factors. Plant domestication, where humans could plant their own food and create a surplus. Where cities with enough resources often resulted in population growth. Livestock was also made possible by the Neolithic people, which played into their nutrition and created opportunity for other assets. Although with the domestication of animals came disease that jumped from animals to humans, it could wipe out entire civilizations completely. In turn, the transition also allowed for social and economic advancements. Decision-making and government organizations were a result of this. This eventually led to social classes where townspeople would fill into their roles such as farmers, craftsmen, priests, and warriors. The transformation did allow for many technological advancements and growth of cities. But during the Neolithic period, people had shorter lifespans, worse nutrition, and farming created more intense labor. Although there were both positive and negative effects to the transformation, it directly affects the way the world works today and created the foundation for many powerful cities to form.